Hello to the First Baptist family and to the friends of First Baptist Tulsa. This is our midweek update for June 26, 2024. And I do shoot these midweek updates a little bit in advance. So as I'm recording this, we're still in vacation Bible school week. Um, not the best shirt to wear when you're wearing a microphone, but about 100 volunteers, a ton of kids, and just a great deal of fun. So if you've been involved in Vacation Bible School, uh, thank you so much for being involved in that. You've made an eternal difference in the life of a lot of kids. And it's hard to believe that back in the day, VBS used to run for two consecutive weeks. And aren't you glad we don't do that anymore? A great time this week. So here's the 3-2-1 for this week. So tonight is our Lady Summer Gathering. Again, this is for June 26th. So tonight, from 6 to 8, on the fourth floor of our Children's Building, our Adult Conference Center, is our Lady Summer Gathering. Uh, $20, be a part of that evening, and enjoy some great fellowship. And then uh, I want to let you know what's coming up at the beginning of July and the end of July. Beginning of July is our student uh, camp, Falls Creek, July 8th through 13th. If you have a student, you want to sign them up as soon as possible. And then our kids camp at Frontier Cove is going to be at the end of the month. That's July 29th through August 1st. And so be aware of those two camp dates in July. And with the three things I want you to know, and I've given you those three things already, can I just remind you of what we spoke about last week? Focus on Jesus. Follow Jesus. Become formed to become like Jesus. Let's make sure that we keep our hearts and our spirits and our minds locked there. There's a lot of distractions around us. Let's focus on Jesus, follow Him, and formed to become like Him. So, um, those are the three things I want you to know. Two chapters in the Bible to read. By the way, I had lunch uh, recently with a good friend, and he said, how many people in the church do you think read their Bible every day? And we threw out a couple of numbers we don't know for sure, but I said if I had to guess, probably about, about 10%. And I don't think it's a lack of discipline, the reason we don't lead our, read our Bible, and that may be part of it, but I think it's a lack of need. Um, if we wake up every day and we realize we need God, I think one of the first places we're going to go is the Scripture and prayer. And one of the reasons I do this midweek update is two chapters at a time. We're just plotting our way through the Bible. You don't have to read a lot to have it make an impact in your life. So this week, I would invite you to read these two chapters with me. Uh, this is Acts chapter 23 and 24. And it's Paul as he gets into trouble in Jerusalem and the, the trial that, that happens in the wake of that. Uh, you'll notice, and I wanna invite you to read 23 and 24. You can read them all at one sitting or kind of read them a piece at a time. Um, in this, Paul, does some really good things. He share, shares his faith with leaders and people. He also messes up. He talks back to uh, the chief priest of the uh, Sanhedrin, and he corrects himself in the middle of that. So we see Paul, there's no effort here to say he was a perfect person. He was not. But what this text does drive home, and I've, I've asked you as you read, just remember to look for those repetitions. In chapter 23, uh, in verse 1, and also in chapter 24, verse 16, it talks about Paul, I strive before God to keep a clear conscience. So as you read this narrative, you, you see that Paul makes some mistakes. He has some successes. Uh, he's not perfect. He's still learning and growing. But as he goes, he makes it a point to try to keep, to strive to keep a clean conscience before God. And shouldn't that be the way that we live? If you don't pick up on anything else in these two chapters, uh, Acts 23 and 24, pick up on that. In fact, that would be a good way uh, to pray the scripture, is to say, God, help me to keep a clean conscience before you. So um, th that's the text for this week, Acts 23, 24, Paul, as he uh, experiences the rigors and the persecutions of being a follower of Jesus. One way I would invite you to pray this week uh, for the Essentials teaching series on Sunday morning. Uh, this Sunday I'll be teaching through Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. Rejoice in the Lord always. Uh, don't worry about anything, pray about everything. What do we do? We often get that backwards. We worry about everything and we pray about nothing. Well, let's listen again to the scripture. Let's remember the call to take all of our troubles to the Lord. And let's remember this challenge that we have in our life to be people who, as we follow Jesus, we are formed into people of joy. Love you, love serving alongside you, and continue to pray for God to change lives, especially through our camps this summer. 
Uh, we have two that are coming up. Let's pray that God would continue to do His good work and His will in our lives. Bless you. I'll see you soon. Proud to be your pastor. Bye-bye.